Now, following this latest incident, social media has been abuzz with debate about police arrests for cursing or seemingly disrespecting the Prime Minister. I spoke with TVJ's legal analyst, Dion Jackson-Miller, earlier about the developments. All right, Dion, you're going to help us out with this bad word law, because as we're seeing here, persons, this situation where a person is locked up for cursing, can the police lock you up for using expletives? Let me just say to our viewers, Herman, and I know you know this, we don't have anything named the Badward Law, right? <laughs> the Act is called the Town and Communities Act of 1843, and 9C of the Act says, let me just use the exact language, it is an offence to use profane, indecent, or obscene language publicly. So yes, it's still on the books. The question in 2021 is, should it be? Okay, uh, but this speaks to what persons online have been asking. What happened to our freedom of expression? Freedom of speech, do we have that? We have the right to freedom of expression under the Charter of Rights, which is a 2011 piece of legislation. Now, let's remember that rights aren't absolute, so the government can limit rights in certain circumstances. And what the Charter language says is in circumstances that are demonstrably justified in a free and democratic society. What does that mean? The courts have helped us. They've laid down a series of criteria in what we call the Oaks Test, which came out of Canada. So basically, let's see if the law matches up to these particular criteria. One of those criteria, for instance, is the goal of the act pressing and substantial enough to justify the government limiting your right. So put it in this particular situation. Is it pressing and substantial that we should have a law that says you can't stand up in a middle street and say, Mr. Prime Minister, you're bad word, bad word, bad word. I'm going to argue that that's not pressing and substantial. I know people at home, Herman, might be saying, but you can't disrespect the Prime Minister, which is the kind of conversation I hear and see. I'm going to argue that you should be able to disrespect the Prime Minister in a free and democratic society once your language is isn't threatening or doesn't suggest physical harm or anything of that nature. All right, and it raises one more issue. Persons are saying people curse online all the time. You find a number of them in entertainment and so on. The police don't go and search for each and every one of them. In this, this and the previous case we had a few months ago, the police went for them and found them within hours. Does that raise a concern for you? It does. I can't speak to motive because I'm not in the head of the officers who gave the order and who went and, and arrested the men. But I do have to question why it takes place. It looks as if it's a situation like the state is sending a message that you don't cuss bad word and name the prime minister, you don't disrespect the prime minister. And again, I think that's a dangerous message to be sending in a democratic society. Herman, I would love to see someone take this to the constitutional court and challenge this particular provision on the grounds of constitutionality or lack of constitutionality, because I don't think it would stand up. 